What is voltage? Though voltage is a technical term more commonly used in electrical and electronic work, we do encounter it quite often as musicians and recording engineers. There are many useful ways to define voltage, but a common one is that voltage is an electrical charge, sometimes called a potential, between two points, where one point has a higher relative voltage than the other. An example would be a 9-volt battery. The potential or charge between the positive and negative is 9 volts. The unit of measure for voltage is the volt, which was named after physicist Alessandro Volta, who invented the first chemical battery. An easy way to think of voltage is as the electrical equivalent of pressure. A metaphor that's often used is to think of it like water pressure in plumbing. That pressure, if you will, is the potential to do electrical work or an action of some kind. For example, the voltage in a battery pushed through a motor will make it turn or voltage pushed through a speaker will make it move in and out, creating air pressure changes to produce sound. And we encounter voltage in many other places in music and recording studios and live rigs. There's roughly 120 volts that come from the wall outlets in the US, for example. We have 1.5 volt and 9 volt batteries, 5 volt chargers for cell phones, 9 volt power supplies, 48 volt phantom power for condenser microphones. With mixing consoles and mic preamps, you might see something referred to as a 24 volt rail. And you might see certain stop boxes that work with 9 volts or have additional headroom if you power them with 18 volts. And some work on 12 volts. So all these are examples of where we're seeing that voltage in action. But in general, as musicians and engineers, none of these are things we have to worry too much about or mess with very much, aside from matching each device to the proper voltage and of course turning those devices on and off. Though you might choose, for example, a 9 volt or an 18 volt power supply for a certain pedal if it supports that feature. But you will encounter some other things that more directly affect us. The power line from the wall might have a voltage spike, which is a quick transient or a short surge of voltage that can damage equipment. A surge suppressor will help counter the effects of a voltage spike. You might also encounter voltage sag, which is more commonly known as a brownout, where the voltage from the wall drops below the standard 120 volt level. And a power conditioner can help with that problem. Analog synthesizers also have VCOs, or voltage-controlled oscillators, and VCFs, or voltage-controlled filters, where an input voltage is used to control pitch or a filter parameter, and you usually set that by turning a knob. If you're interested in learning more audio concepts like this, visit us at Sweetwater.com's news and research page and check out the other videos in this playlist.